What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Raw TV. You always look at me when I say that, huh? Yeah. You want to talk about goal setting? What's your goals? Your goals are to get more food. That's his goals. His goals is to get fed, right? Get fed, get your keys, sit on the porch. Those are his goals. Daily goals. Come here, buddy. Go play, okay? Ah, finish eating your food. Go ahead. All right. Like Brady just said, we're going to talk about goals today. Now, goals for 2016, I had one goal. And basically, it was a general goal, a very widespread goal. And that goal was to take opportunities that came my way and make the most out of them. Now, in the past, I've had trouble setting goals. And Brady down there eating his, his food out of his bowl. I've had trouble setting goals and didn't have goals, didn't have direction to go in. And sometimes it worked out, sometimes it didn't. But in the last few years, you know, a lot has happened for me. And that's because I started setting goals beyond just being a bodybuilder. I used to just do bodybuilding and the idea was my long-term plan was to turn pro as a bodybuilder and I would make a bunch of money and be on magazine covers and drive Ferraris and all the women and all that bullshit. You know, like it was in the 90s. That was the idea. And when I realized that wasn't going to happen, or not going to happen that way, I had to come up with a plan. Now, what I did was take things one at a time. And what are you doing over there, buddy? Just messing shit up. Take things one at a time as they came my way. And when opportunities presented themselves, I decided whether or not that was something that was going to benefit me, benefit the other person, the other company, whatever the case may be, and make choices based on that. So in the last three years, okay, after doing goal setting, I was a co-host of a pretty popular podcast, which was something that was very new for me, that I gave that a shot. I thought that was um, a pretty great time that I had, and I had, a, you know, about six months that I was on the podcast. Um, that was geared up podcast. If anybody's wondering my training business, I started up from in person to online. I then took the training business international online, which, um, if anybody's ever been a trainer before, you know that there's slow times like around Christmas time, summertime, there are times where it actually slows down. But when you're international online, there's never really a slow time. So my goal was to build it up online international. So you always pretty much had a clientele all the time. I put out a clothing line. I had the BioS3 clothing line, which I actually stopped doing because I don't even have time for it anymore. But I designed the clothes. I put the clothes together. I packaged the clothes. I mailed the clothes. I did everything myself. I mean, that was something that I'd always dreamed of doing. It was having a clothing line that actually had meaning to it. Like each shirt, each design had meaning to it. It had something in it that wasn't just the design to say, oh, it looks cool. It's got a skull on it, whatever. No, these things had very deep meaning to it. It took me a lot of time, a lot of effort. And it was a lot of work to do that clothing line. The YouTube channel. Okay, I started the YouTube channel <clears throat> and brought it from zero subscribers to 127,000 or whatever it is now. That's a successful venture right there. So, you know, within the last three years, I did that. Um, I created my own supplements this year. I have my own supplement line. That's something that since I was younger, I would always dream that, you know, you would be on the cover or excuse me, on the cover, on the label of the supplement. Like your picture, you're like, ah, on the, that, that's the fucking coolest thing ever. But to actually formulate what goes into the supplement, I mean, that's a dream that I've had since I was you know, a teenager. Um, I now recently became an interviewer for NPC News Online. I'm now the guy backstage that when you win, I have the microphone, I talk to you, I interview you. I usually ask you what you like to eat, how long you dieted, stuff like that. That you know, I'm in front of a camera, I'm doing something else in the bodybuilding world that is not competition wise, but I'm trans kind of transitioning into kind of news media type thing. Um, I became a columnist for Muscle Sport Magazine. I'm still a columnist, a monthly columnist for Muscle Sport Magazine. Now, here's something that I never dreamed of even, you know, when I was younger, that I'd actually be able to be writing for a magazine and be published in print. That is something that, you know, I even look at it when I get the magazine and I'm like, holy shit, I can't believe this is happening, you know. Um, I transitioned successfully from bodybuilding into physique. Now, here's something that when my bodybuilding competition days were over, a lot of people would literally just be depressed and say, it's over, whatever the case may be. I've seen people literally just stop training, get fat, I mean, just be fucking miserable. I had to find another way to be creative, another way to be competitive, another way to push myself on a daily basis. In transitioning to physique, where I placed last place in my first show, to winning a show a few months later, that's a successful transformation. That's a successful transition. That is something that you're doing that you don't give up and you eventually wind up accomplishing your goal. And through all these things that I'm talking about right now, over the last three years, when I go to these expos, which I travel all over the country now, I have motivated, inspired, and helped tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people all over the world just by doing what I do because it's not just about fitness. It's not just about eating. It's not just about training. 
There's the addiction aspect. There's stuff about the molestation. There's things about my life that I've had to overcome that my goals were to overcome these things and become better as a person. And I think that, you know, the YouTube thing, especially you're watching this right now, you've seen these things happen to me. You've heard me talk about them. You've seen me fail. You've seen me succeed. You've seen me get to the point where we're talking right now about goals and how I got there. And, you know, there definitely is a lot more hate now. And I couldn't figure out why there's so many trolls, so much more hate. And I'm sitting there going, I don't understand what's going on. You know, there are people that, you know, when you first start, everybody loves you. They think you're the greatest thing ever. But the more that they watch you succeed, the more that they watch you overcome things, the more that they watch you accomplish your goals. You set another goal, you accomplish it. You set another goal, you accomplish it. And they sit back and they haven't accomplished shit. And it makes them feel bad. And you know what? I don't feel bad for them. I really don't. For the trolls that are sitting there making fun of me, poking fun of me, whatever you, you can say, I don't feel bad for you. You're in the spot that you're in because you haven't set a goal and you sure as fuck haven't worked to accomplish it. So you are where you are because of you. And I'm where I am is because of me. And that's the way it's going to be. You know, so for 2016, we're a quarter way through the year. The supplement came out. You know, I'm going back to physique competition at the national level this year. I became an interviewer for NPC News Online. And this is just the first few months that this has happened. I mean, I got the rest of the year with other shit going on. And who knows what other opportunities are going to pop up and present themselves that will allow me to put myself out there, make a change in other people's lives by doing what I'm doing. Who knows? I didn't even know that the, the NPC News thing would pop up to begin with. You know, like that's just something that came up in the last couple of months that all of a sudden it's like, hey, guess what? You know, this opportunity is here. Do you want it? So, you know, I urge you guys, think about your goals. Think about what you want to do. Think about the steps you got to take to get there. But maybe you don't have to be so laser-like on a specific goal. When I was really concentrating on becoming a pro bodybuilder, that was my goal. I concentrated on only that goal and everything else around me kind of fell apart. When you have the, the main goal of saying, you know what, opportunities that come my way, I'm going to take and make the most of them. That leaves you open to many different things you may not see if you've got that laser-like focus on one thing. So be aware that... Hi, Brady. Are you, are you, your goal's accomplished? <laughs> okay, buddy. So be aware. Open yourself up to things that may come your way that you may look at and say, well, I can't do that because of this. Take a second and say, maybe I should do this and I can still this, do this too, but which one of these would actually be better for me? Which one of these would actually make me a better person that I can do better, I can accomplish things? Which one of these things would be better to do? And you'd be surprised. You know, you might just surprise yourself and find yourself doing something that you really enjoy, that helps other people that you never would have thought of. Biosetraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biosetraining.com's blog. It's the goals bicep. Where's Brady? Come here. Is it the goals bicep? No? <laughs> We're out.